This is the window farm so far, two separate systems. Uh, the one on the right has four growing cups, the one on the left has three. Each of them are sitting in these four liter jars here. Uh, I'll show you what I'm growing first, I guess. Up top, we've got uh, snow peas, although I broke about two feet off the end of one of those, so I'm not doing as well. Down here, we've got some uh, strawberries. I'm not sure how they'll go either, but I thought I'd try them out. In the middle, these two here are basil, and these two were four inch transplants where everything else was grown from seed. But in five weeks, I have cut off about, let's see the size of that leaf, over uh, 60 of those between the two plants, so uh, they're growing quite well. And down the bottom, I have a green pepper over here, and then there's two red peppers in this pot the basil and then another red pepper up top there. I always have trouble growing red peppers and green peppers outside so I thought I'd try them hydroponically. So how does the system work? Well I've got these water bottles upside down and cut out and these are uh, Dasani water bottles I get up at Sobeys and the nice thing about them is once you cut them open they fit these neck cups just perfectly and the neck cups are full of these little clay balls here and I've got them all attached to these dowels which are hanging from the ceiling actually on little hooks there and that's nice is when I uh, swap out the water it means they can just hang there and drain into a temporary uh, container so as far as the uh, water lift section works there's uh, two separate tubes here in each one uh, there's the one that goes up and down the blue one the water lift tube and then there's an air tube so the water tube up the top there, you see where it drips out, there's a uh, old pill bottle there to cut down, like a muffler to cut down on the gurgling sound. And at the bottom, it's open, at the very bottom, the blue one comes down here, so it basically fills with water up to the water line. And then over on the milk cartons, you can see there's uh, one and a second uh, aquarium pump over there. And that one is blowing air through this tube, which comes around and it exits right here there's a needle that you'd say blow up a soccer ball basketball with and that's inserted into a little slit I cut in the uh, in the water lift tube so basically it just blows some water through here and then it traps a little bit of water that's in there some air and just pushes it right up the tube and uh, closely I'll focus in on this you can see the water shooting by there I think you can see that kind of hard to tell through this little screen and the second one works the exact same way except I have uh, two hoses going in just the way it all worked out and then these little valves so I can control the pressure and so I've got uh, you can see in there there's, there's two air pump needles and you can see that going up there the water where's the water this one's a little slower than the other one there's some so it just goes up and drains through. Uh, but the only other thing I can think of mentioning is uh, usually, and I just fill these up on Friday, I usually fill them up to about there. It's four liters to the very top. And in seven, eight days, I'll drop down to around three liters of water loss. So I have to uh, change the water once a week or so. And I also use a hydroponic solution from the uh, hydroponic store. Usually use about five milliliters. Uh, per jar per week. So that's it. Oh, wait, I also have a grow light over there because, uh, well, Nova Scotia. <laughs> Not too much sun these days. But other than that, it's a pretty cool project, easy to make and uh, fun to make, and uh, it's pretty cool. Basil grows well.